Hello and welcome to video 2 of our 3 part series Pilates for Runners. If you are new here, welcome. This is the second video that we are doing in collaboration with The Otter. This series is focused specifically for runners. We'll be going through a number of different Pilates sequences that target the various muscles that are needed while running. I hope you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. We're going to start standing up. So, starting with your hands and your hips, you're going to lift your left leg, balancing on your right leg. You're slowly going to bend that right knee, activating your core, lengthening through the spine and opening your chest. I want you to imagine there's a little circle coming around your foot. You're going to lean forward and you are slowly dragging your foot on the outside of that circle towards the other side using your core and your hip to slowly roll back. I want you to focus on stabilizing that knee, making sure it is maintaining its position. While doing so, you are also envisioning and focusing on that mobility in that ankle as well as that stability. Working that right glute. We are going to do three more after this one. And slowly back. This is a very slow controlled movement, focusing on stabilization and proprioception. Using that core to get yourself around. Last one. On the last one, we're slowly going to pull ourselves around, using core to lift back into that high knee, and we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly rotating the trunk towards the left hand side and holding for five, four, three, two, one. Back to center, dropping that left leg onto the floor and creating that imaginary circle around that foot, leaning forward, core tight, and rolling around as far as you can go, while still maintaining control of that hip and knee. That's one. And two. I want you to make sure that that hip stays facing forward, that you're not opening your hip out towards the side. If you want greater range of motion, you bend that knee more. Let's do three more. Watch that knee, watch that ankle, and slowly around. And last one before we go into that high knee. Using that core to pull yourself up and around into that high knee, holding into that T position for five, four, three, two, one, slowly turning towards the right and holding for five, four, three, two, one, back to center, slowly dropping that leg down, walking to the end of the mat, we're slowly going to open our palms and chest and inhale and on the exhale slowly rolling your chin, then your head and then your shoulders down towards the floor, articulating through that vertebra one at a time, allowing that body to fall into that rounded C curve and you're going to hold. Just allow yourself to fall and inhale and exhale. And inhale and slowly walking your hands down to the center of the mat. You're going to dig your heels into the ground, rotating that pelvis up towards the ceiling, pushing your back of the knees into the wall behind you. And you're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one, and bending that right knee, digging the heel, the back foot into the ground, and holding for five, four, Three, two, one, and extending that right knee, bending that left knee and holding for five, four, three, two, one. Last little one, pushing those heels into the ground, rotating that pelvis up towards the ceiling and holding for five, four, three, two, one. Walking yourself down into an all fours position, we are going to get into 
an altered lunge position, putting your right foot in front of you. You are going to place your hands in a T position, palms facing the ceiling. You are slowly going to tilt that pelvis up towards the ceiling and you're going to lean forward into that front knee, allowing a stretch into that hip flexor. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, you're just going to rotate towards the right hand side and inhale center. Exhale, rotate towards the left. And you're going to do that one more time on each side. And back to center. From here, we're going to lower that right arm and extend the left arm over towards the other side. Still leaning into that front knee. And we're going to hold for five, four, three, two. Now we're going to reach and rotate to allow the other hand to go over to the other side and holding for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to change over legs. Same thing. We're going to go through that same sequence, tilting that pelvis and pelvic bone up towards your chin, leaning forward, allowing that stretch down the front part of your hip. We're going to open our hands into a T position. And on the inhale and exhale, rotate towards the left hand side. Inhale, center, rotate towards the left hand side. And inhale, center, one more time on each side. Back to center and slowly back to center, dropping that left arm down reaching that right arm over and across, pushing that hip forward, pushing those ribs out to the side, and reaching and holding for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly reaching and circulating that right arm, and allowing that left arm to reach and follow, and holding for five, four, three, two, one. From here, we are slowly going to get into that all fours position. We're going to extend our right foot out to the side. I want you to rotate that pelvis out towards the wall behind you. I want you to push your groin down into the side and you're slowly going to, as you rock your glute back into your foot, you're rotating that pelvis out, pushing that groin into the ground and leaning forward. And we are going to do five of these. That's to allow that stretch, pulling down that groin. And three, and four. And on the fifth one, we're going to hold for 10 seconds. And five, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Lifting that leg up, holding it in the air, lifting your right hand and holding in that superman position for ten, nine. Activating that core, sucking belly to spine, activating that glute and lengthening for another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly dropping down, extending that left leg out to the side. And performing that same sequence, rotating that tailbone out towards the wall behind you, pushing that groin into the ground. And we're slowly going to rock backwards and forwards. That's one. And two. And three. Last two. And four. And on the fifth one, we're going to hold for ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lifting that leg and arm up to hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. 
leaning down into that all fours position, making sure that you are in the center of the mat. From here, you're going to tuck in your toes. You're going to activate that core, making sure your wrists are comfortably under your shoulders, knees are comfortably under your hips, and you're going to lift and hover your knees up off the ground. We're going to hold for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we're going to open our knees away from each other. And one, two, three, squeezing those glutes. Four, we're doing eight, five, and six, and seven, and eight. And back from here, keeping that activation, keeping those knees off the ground. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, chest touch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Dropping those knees and leaning into rest position. We're slowly going to. Lean back up, extending your right leg, then your left into your front support position. You're going to activate your core, sucking belly to spine, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. You're going to inhale. On the exhale, do chest touches. One, two, three. Making sure you're stabilizing and not rocking as you're just touching. And let's do three more. One, and two, and three. And slowly dropping knees back down and back into that rest position. We're going to lift that up. We're going to hover those knees back off the ground. We're going to do that sequence two more times. So deep breath in, lifting and hovering those knees off the ground. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 8 open clams. And 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7. And eight, back to center, core nice and tight, and chest touches, one, two, three, four, five, making sure you're stabilizing, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, dropping into that all fours, inhale, and on the exhale, extending right, then left knee, stabilizing, sucking in that belly, and one, making sure you're not rocking as you're chest touching. Five, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Dropping knees in and slowly leaning back to rest, pushing those arms into the ground to hold for five, four, three, two, one. One more set of that sequence. Deep breath in, lifting and hovering those knees off the ground. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and opening those knees. And 1, and 2, and 3, 4, keep going, 6, 7, and 8, into 10 chest touches, 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Dropping those knees down, extending those knees off the ground, and deep breaths. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one, dropping knees down, 
leaning back into that wrist position. From here, we're going to turn over onto our backs. Opening that chest, drawing those arms down the back. You're going to activate that core, sucking belly to spine, sucking in that pelvic floor. Inhale, and on the exhale, you're slowly going to roll your hips up towards the ceiling. As you're doing so, you're using your core to control the movement of that pelvis. In the air, you're squeezing those glutes, digging those heels into the ground. You're going to inhale, and on the exhale, slowly roll back down. Slow, controlled movements. And inhale, exhale back up. We're going to do five of these. Inhale, exhale down. While we're doing them, you're thinking about the activation of those hamstrings, those glutes, and that core controlling that movement of that pelvis. And up in the air, squeezing those glutes to open those hips, keeping that pelvis tilted nicely. Deep breath in and slowly rolling back down. This is our last one. And we're going to stay in the air. We're going to lift up, getting those hips up towards the ceiling. I hope you're all managing okay, getting that deep activation into those glutes and hamstrings, pushing those shoulders into the ground. You're gonna transfer your weight onto your right leg, lifting left leg into tabletop. We're slowly going to do a single leg toe tap into a straight leg lower. And we're going to do eight of these. That's two and lower and three. And four, keeping that core tight, keeping that positioning of those hips. You want to make sure that those hips are in line with each other and they are not dropping as that leg drops. So you've got to work extra hard to make sure that pelvis stays in position while you're lowering that leg. Let's do one more and we're going to lower that leg to align with the other knee. And we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bending that leg to lower it back down, transferring that weight, lifting the other leg into tabletop and performing the same sequence. Toe tap into straight leg lower. And 1, and 2, and toe tap. Straight leg lower. And we're halfway, keeping that hip height, keeping that core activation. And four more. That's one. And two. Three. And last one, getting ready for that single leg reverse bridge hold. And extending, aligning those knees, lengthening and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dropping that leg down, lifting those hips to slowly roll back down in a controlled manner. You're going to inhale, on the exhale, lifting those legs into tabletop position. We're going to extend arms towards the ceiling and we are going to, while holding arms towards the ceiling, inhale and on the exhale, right leg toe tap, then left leg toe tap, making sure you're maintaining good angle between your hips and your knees. We're going to do eight of these just to warm the core up before we do double leg lowers with arm extensions. And let's do Two more, and one, and two, getting ready for those double leg lows with arm extensions, and one. We're doing eight of these, and two, and three, 
for making sure when you lower those arms and legs that those ribs aren't flaring, that that pelvis isn't tilting and that you are maintaining a good core activation, drawing belly to spine. And last one, and back up. In this position, we're slowly going to interlace our hands behind our head. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, rolling head, neck and chest off the ground towards the ceiling, making sure that our elbows maintain in our peripheral position. And exhale up, inhale down. We're going to do eight of these. We've got four more. Keeping those elbows comfortably in our periphery. And three more, <laughs> lifting those shoulders. And two. And last one, you're going to lift. And we're going to lift a little bit higher if you can. Core tight as much as you can. You're going to inhale. And on the exhale, you're going to rotate your right and elbow towards your left knee. And slowly back. And the left hand side, inhale, center. We're going to do eight of these. That's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to center, lifting, and six double leg toe taps. And one, and two, and three, four. Inhale up, keeping those shoulders off the ground. Five and six, lowering that head, neck and chest towards the ground, hands on sides, dropping right leg down, left leg down, putting arms in a T position and slowly rocking those knees from side to side. Well done everybody, you should be getting a deep burn into those core muscles. If you're feeling anything into that lower back, it means you're not activating correctly. So just make sure that you stop, reassess, and get into that correct posture if you get in getting any form of back pain. Let's lift those legs back into that tabletop position, interlacing our hands behind our head. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, lifting those head, neck, and chest off the ground, and inhale down. We're going to do six of these before we do our rotations. And three more. We're doing less crunches because we're going to alter the next movement slightly. And lifting up. Now, holding there, we are going to rotate right elbow to left knee while right knee lowers. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Slow and controlled. That's three. We're doing eight. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to center, lowering back down, arms on your sides, right leg down, left leg down. Inhale, on the exhale, slowly rolling your hips to the ceiling for active recovery. Lifting up and holding, digging those heels into the ground. Five. Four, three, two, slowly lowering back down towards the floor. You're going to interlace your hands back behind your head. We're going to finish the sequence and then continue to glutes. Inhale, on the exhale, rolling head, neck and chest off the ground, lifting those legs into tabletop and eight double leg toe taps with those head, neck and chest off the floor. And as you're lowering, sucking belly to spine and we're halfway. And one, two, and three, and four. Lowering head, neck, and chest back down, right leg down, left leg down, placing arms on your sides and slowly just rocking from side to side. We're just going to do an Two on each side before we turn over onto our left hand side. 
to work those glutes. Last little set of the day. Keep going, everybody. We've got one more push, and then we are done. We're going to lie down on our left-hand side. Please make sure that you are placing your shoulders, hips, and knees all in line with each other. And you have your elbow comfortably under your shoulder, and you're drawing yourself and stabilizing through that shoulder, not slumping into that shoulder, activating that core, hips perpendicular, and shoulders perpendicular to the ground, pointing that toe towards the wall below you, you're lifting it up, slight forward rotation of that upper hip, and we are going to lift and lower that leg, and one, and two, we're going to do eight of these, three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Lifting that leg, we're going to bend and extend that heel towards that glute. Okay, so you can either, while you're doing this, have your hand on your hips to make sure you're activating, or you can place it comfortably behind your head like so. Let's do four more, and three, and four, and we're going to hold in the air for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, dropping that leg, extending that arm, lifting hips off the ground, extending that leg, placing other hand behind your head, and you are going to do the same thing, lifting and lowering that leg down towards the floor, and one, and extend, and two, extend, three, we're doing eight of these, with those knee tucks, four, and five, keep going, and six, and seven, and eight, and bending and extending those legs, and one, core tight, and two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, and holding for ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bending and lowering that leg. We're slowly going to turn over onto our right hand side to perform that same sequence, making sure your elbow is comfortably under that shoulder, shoulders, hips, and knees aligned, bending that lower leg, straightening that upper leg. Slight forward rotation of that upper hip, lifting that leg and lifting and lowering. Core tight two, glutes tight three. As I said, placing your hand either on your hips to make sure that that glute is activating or behind your head. And let's do four more. And one, core tight. Making sure when you're doing this that you're activating and drawing that pelvis in. And last one, and lifting and extending, and bending and extending those glutes, those heels towards your glutes. And let's do four more. And one, and two, and three, and four with a 10 second hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bending that leg down, extending that other arm, lifting those hips off the ground. Last little push of the day, everybody. Should be getting a nice burn into those glutes. Let's place the other hand behind your head, extending that other leg, and lifting and lowering. And one, and two, core tight. Three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and lifting and bending and extending that knee, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and holding for 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lowering that leg, and slowly turning over to lie down on your back to stretch out those glutes. Right leg on your left knee, interlacing your hand behind the back of your left knee and hugging your knee to your chest. We're going to hold for 10, 
Video three. See you there. 